David B69. And we are going back up to the next generation now. We have played the from the Super Nintendo, the Sega Genesis. And now we are going about eight years later to Xbox. And uh, this game is probably known as the last game of its generation for um, for 2K. Um, they had to stop making it because at this point, right after this game, EA owned all the rights to the NFL, so they can pretty much own everything. ESPN had its own integration in this. And frankly, it was, I mean, I always thought it was Madden and 2K was 1-1-A. One one I, I, I just... It was a tremendous series, and it was very, very, very involved. It's a special presentation from ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. 32 teams start the season with the same dream, get to the Super Bowl. Just that presentation alone just made it like really cool. Now I'm I just don't care. See, go crazy. I know we play on my other Xbox. Okay. Now you can make your own crib, which is basically your own like place and stuff and everything you can stay. They have all that stuff. It, it's not gonna deal with that stuff. Just gonna get right back into the game, just like I always do. Um, and I don't see any reason to do anything else except for just our same game that we've been playing this entire series. I mean, why would I go any boring and do anything else? Okay, I'm just gonna stick with it, and we're just gonna stay. Eagles, Red, Eagles Raiders, hey, it's been fun. Aloha, I'm Chris Berman, and coming up on ESPN, more things change the more they stay the same. Going on 42 years of age now, 42, the in-cap remote Jerry Rack, still going strong. We'll get a look at the best ever in this one. Raiders. Eagle. Now. While the teams are out on the field getting loose, the fans are filing in and finding their seats for the game. Hi folks, I'm Dan Steele, and welcome to Lincoln Financial Field. With me, my good compadre, Peter O'Keefe. Well, I forgot Peter, your thoughts doing on that. today's game. Well, Dan, both teams have excellent safeties on the defensive end. The Eagles have a great group of safeties who mean business, whether it's pass cover, run pursuit, or what have you. These guys flat out take care of business. The Raiders have a crew of safeties who can hit like a freight train. Big impacts are what these guys are all about, but they still do a good job of wrapping you up and making sure they bring you down. Both of these groups have a chance to shine. The question is, which one? Well, all right, Peter, we'll keep our eye on them as the game progresses, but first, the coin talks. It was like McDavid they had some kind of pro on him. Okay, let's see. David Avery kicking on for the Eagles. 
The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Akers kicks it, and we are underway. Number 44 feels the opening kickoff at the 24. Knocked out of bounds at the 40. Well, it looks like the weather is cooperating with us today, but Susie has the full scoop on that. Susie. Thanks, Dan. It's a beautiful, temperate day. The conditions couldn't be better right now for a game of football. Dan, back to you. Thanks, Susie. The Raiders get their offense on the field and will start this drive at their 40-yard line. Wayne makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Nate Wayne wouldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Second and ten. Rice goes in motion. We just see that the amount of jump that they had, just one cycle. I mean, they went from, well, it's actually they had the 32-bit systems in between this. But there was really no great game, football game during that 32-bit span. One man down. That, um... I think the biggest, best game that they had was Joe Montana football, sports talk, and that was mainly, uh, mainly for its audio. The game itself wasn't really that good. The Honey Jones made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the marker. They stopped them cold, fourth coming up. Exactly what this defense needed to do. Leckler lines up to punt after the three and out. Leckler takes the long snap and pummels this one deep. Mahe fields the deep punt at the 13. Stuck at the 20. Reno Mahe got pinned deep by a beauty of a kick there. By the time he looked up, there was nowhere to go. Eagles will start this first play of the drive at their own 20-yard line. Put it up, Ray, dig it down. Westbrook goes in motion. Back <laughs> down hard at the 33. First down. Donovan McMahon saw nothing happening downfield, so he decided to scramble on that last play. And that was not a bad decision at all. He had some room to work with, and he knew how to exploit it. First down with the tight end, right. One man to beat. Jukes! The ball's loose! Holy number 36. Defense. Oh, defense holding. I thought it was on me. I got a first down, what do I care? trouble zinging that one past the secondary. That was one heck of a throw. Not much there. It'll be second down. Gotta take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. there but just couldn't make the grab incomplete third down three wide outs in the game Wilson and 
Oh, and how do you pass interference? Him to drop the ball incomplete. Pass interference, number 26. He finished. The ball is placed at the spot of the foul. Bob Woodson manhandled that receiver back there like a puppy playing with a chew toy, Dan. And he rightly got slapped with defensive pass interference. Check air, check air. First and ten. a bullet to the flat and it's complete at the 41 and he stopped right there. Wayne Rudd targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed Dan, they, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. The 48. Nah, there's just nothing I can do about that. Ed Washington nails the offense with a huge loss. Watch how he zeroes in on the target. Ouch! Oh, he sacked him way back there. Great play. Good defense that's forced two losses in a row. Okay, I do something about this on this play here. Didn't let much daylight get between him and his assignment. Nice coverage to force the incompletion. The defense prevents them from closing the gap and forces the incompletion. Nothing doing on that play, Peter. Well, they were just trying to get some yards out of it, not necessarily the first. And now they face a fourth down. Johnson gets ready to punt this away. Johnson gets the snap and punts it away. Buchanan takes it at the 25. Locked down at the 33. Philip Buchanan had no trouble getting a few back after that very disappointing but Nice opportunity for this offense. You can see, I mean, they actually have, like, some pretty nice graphic players. Don't so call it when you're we'll getting the play or anything. We'll you're calling the defense we'll the secondary here. and how their line's doing it individually. Wheatley picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up second down. Tyrone Wheatley used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second down. Nine well, said, I'm playing this on my 360. I also have a PS2 version of the same game. Rocket goes in motion. Hey, to six. by targeting the receiver with two defenders near him. But the pass clicked and they'll move the ball. Peter, they did what they needed to do and they squeak it past the first down line. Yeah, he knew what he needed to do and he done did it. How eloquently put. Thank you. They couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. Tyrone Wheatley didn't have anybody on him, and yet he couldn't make the catch. That falls incomplete, but it would have been a minimal gain had they completed it anyway. Second down, empty backfield. And a bunch of receivers out there. Defense is expecting that, and they go to nickel. Gannon rifles it out left side, and it's knocked away from the receiver, incomplete. 
that will end the first quarter, and it's still a scoreless game. The penalties are there and it just it makes the game so much more realistic. Did he go offside or anything? I don't know. But... This on rolls, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. receiver on the field. Wheatley will get the carry on first down and passes the line. Tackled at the 24. Interceptions over his career. What a ball hawk. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground, and it's incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Janikowski with the 41-yard attempt, and they take the lead. Let's go! Let's go! Damn it! Shane Leckler handles this high snap perfectly. Sets up the ball. There's the kick, and it's good. Three points. There's the signal, and we're ready. Janikowski rockets this one deep. Reed downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles have been locked in a defensive struggle so far. They will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. <laughs> McNabb rifles on the left side and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Darrell Owens faces double coverage on this play, but still comes out with the ball. Nice throw and nice catch. Let's take a look. They had him covered well, but he was still able to make the catch. He had a great receiver. That'll be his first catch of the game after being shut out the entire first quarter. This is a bit of a slow start for him. Yeah, it is, Dan, but he will see the ball more and more as the game goes on. First down and five wide receivers take the field. Okay, we've got an empty backfield, five receivers, and the defense is in their dime. Let's watch. This one will fall incomplete. Down. 
Westbrook takes his first carry of the game and gains about three yards. Let's step it up. We got this. I see he was dumping it off to Westbrook and then I tried to duck away and it was too late. He got me really good. Johnson lines up for the punt. Johnson takes the snap Dude, and kicks punt. what will be a short one. Buchanan gathers it up at the 46. Dragged down at the 48. Philip Buchanan got sandbagged before he hardly got anywhere on that run back, but the kick was so bad it still gave his offense a nice starting point. The Raiders are looking for some separation before half, and will start this drive at the 48-yard line. Wheatley gains three yards, and that will bring up second down. to 25. It will be first down. First down, tight end to the left. Jolly goes in motion. Wheatley carries it for the sixth time and heads left. Tackle and the clock will continue to run. Janikowski sends it whizzing between the goal posts for a field goal straight down the pike. The ref gets the signal and we're set. Janikowski booms a beauty here. Wynn decides to take it out of the end zone. Dodges a tackle. Tackle at the 17. Dexter Wynn thought he had some running room from the end zone, but gets planted before he gets to the 20. The Eagles could take the lead before halftime as their offense will start at their own 17-yard line. 
McNabb sings it to the right side, and it is not real in, incomplete. Donovan McNabb has been searching for a rhythm out there, and he's come up short, Dan. As you can see by these numbers, he's been having a rough day of it. So far, he's struggled to get 14 yards and no touchdowns. Second down, two receivers to the left. never had a chance incomplete on second down they try for the first but it's played well by the defense that will bring up third down nice pressure that time McNabb makes the throw after the play action fake and it's not the 35 the Eagles will take a timeout that's their second First down, three wideouts in the game. Westbrook catches this one and loses yards on that one. his first touchdown pass of the game. How do his stats look? Well, so far, he's got 126 yards and one touchdown. Here's the extra point, and it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Akers kicks it off. Vargas fields it all the way back at the eight. Gets out at the eight. takes the field with the clock at 18. Porter goes in motion. Weekly gains three yards, and that brings up second down. one over the middle and it's complete at the 22 finally dropped at the 31 Jerry Rice makes the catch but that's not enough for him 
He gets it and takes off for more. That's another medium range catch for him. He's really found his niche in there. Yeah, unless he starts getting shut down, there's no reason for him to move out of it. And do it for the first half of this one. The Eagles with a small lead, seven to six. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, Dan, interesting game at the half. We'll get back to you guys in a bit. First, we welcome everybody to our ESPN Halftime Report. I'm Chris Berman. The Eagles, therefore, find themselves in a tight ball game. Anything can happen in the second half. Not much action early on, so we'll pick it up early in the second quarter. After driving 43 yards on nine plays, Sebastian Janikowski is called upon to attempt the field goal. This one, good. A 42-yard field goal. The Raiders strike first and go up by three. Eagles still early in the second quarter. Donovan McNabb would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. Raiders late into the second quarter. Raiders ahead by three. Sebastian Janikowski would be called upon for the field goal try, and he'd come through. The Eagles come right back. Todd Pinkston is going to find an opening in the secondary, and he'll exploit it here. A 46-yard play that set up an Eagle touchdown. Eagles ahead, 7-6. to six. Rich Loose Gannon would find his target on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Eagles are holding on to a lead, 7-6. to six. Now, let's check out the undisputed halftime hero of the first half. Donovan McNabb has played outstanding. So that'll do it from here. Let's send you back out now to Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Dan? Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Eagles will receive to start the second half, and they currently enjoy a small lead, seven to six. Let's go down to the field. Win fields the second half kickoff at the one. Drag down at the 24. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Not a lot of action in this one overall, but even though they're in good shape, a single score can turn it around. They have to stay focused here. Yeah, I love the way they describe those drives. has some information for us. Thank you, Dan. Head coach Andy Reid took a moment to speak with me during halftime, and I asked him what he thought about the first half of the game. He said it was a great half. Both teams played hard. A man of few words, I guess. Back to you. The Eagles offense takes the field and they will start out at their own 24-yard line. Westbrook gains five on the play and that will bring up second down. Second down, one man back. Gets the call again and searches for a hole. Brought down at the 30. Brian Westbrook used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. Yeah, I used to, I was talking about moving my hands. I used to like trigger to trigger and everything he just basically pulls it back a little bit that always gets people too eventually slides down at the 45 first down Donovan McMahon improvises on this one it's called thinking on your feet and he does a great job of it Yep, nice little scramble there. He saw he had no options, so he did what he had to do. Peter, it doesn't even seem fair when your quarterback can run like he can. Yeah. And that's what makes this guy so dangerous. Good coverage, good pressure, but still, no one could corral him. up a couple. 
Brian Westbrook used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second down with the tight end right. That will bring up first down. Donovan McNabb does a little last minute razzle dazzle here, and he gets some yards. was too smart. They gave him nowhere to go. Third down, coming up on the 10th play of the drive. Fistful of his man to try and wrap him up on that play, but the ref saw it, and that's a clear cut case of defensive holding. That's a clear case uh, of me being lucky. Ted Washington was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That's his second tackle so far. some yards. It was just too easy. I mean, was, they split their defense right up the middle, just making it too easy for me to do anything else. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Eagles with a small lead, 7 to 6. Now, graphically, the game's great and everything, except for like the referee's faces and some of the fans. This is incredible for like and the first Xbox PlayStation regular PlayStation versions. This is the PS2 game, not a PS1 game. And this is on the, on the original Xbox. Westbrook pushes out to the left side and gets well past the markers for a first. This game is pretty much going to be over because I... Brian Westbrook sticks close to his blockers here. 
and it pays off. Peter, they did what they needed to do, and they squeak it past the first down line. Yeah, he knew what he needed to do, and he done did it. How eloquently put. Thank you. Come on, go. Don't let him run like that. Double coverage, but luckily nobody was able to catch it. Potential for a quick first down, but no, they cannot hook up the pass. You can take a shot in that situation, and it's really not going to hurt you. That's a good call. That'll bring up second down. Owens goes in motion. McNabb throws a heater, and it's off incomplete. Darrell Owens would have had some room on the outside on that play if only he had made the catch incomplete. If complete, that would have made for a bit shorter third down play, but not much. Not a lot of potential on that call. Third down, goal to go. I mean, I can make this a make sure you had to get a touchdown, but it's so much more fun going for it. <laughs> Darn. Okay. Well, I'm just going to have to play defense. The Raiders' offense takes the field, and can they capitalize on the defensive stop? Well, well they'll stop this drive loss. at their own 17 yard line. Brown <laughs> goes in motion. Wheatley takes it for his eighth carry and maybe picks up one on the play. Just interesting, the um, second down. You just can't go around the edge and make it guaranteed like the original Madden. I mean, this is like much better than other games where you can actually rush and it feels like you have a speedy quarterback, but if you have a good defense. Peter, those were some nifty moves to get free. In that matchup, he doesn't even need to dig down that deep to pull it off. A good defense will generally stop and make sure you can contain a quarterback to the outside. This one will fall incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. What are you looking for? We had a chance for a mid-range completion Let's back sit down. there, but you just couldn't connect, no catch. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Leckler lines up to punt after the three and out. Leckler gets the ball and pummels this one deep. Monte fields the deep punt at the 29. Drag down at the 38. Reno Monte returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of War and Peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The Eagles had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their 38 yard line. Westbrook gets the ball and gets past the line. Stopped at the 41. Reception is made for a pickup of maybe a yard. 
Donovan McNabb has had a number of pass attempts, and we've seen that his guys are out there running their routes and trying to make plays. He would like to do a little bit more, however. So far, he's got 95 yards and one touchdown. some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Raiders start this drive of the game from well in their own territory and the clock at 147. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground and it's incomplete. Tyrone Newton had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. He couldn't hold on to that one, and maybe that's why they don't throw to him that often. No, he's more of a runner than a target out of the backfield. Second down. The clock is stopped at 144. Gannon rifles it out left side, and it is not real in. Incomplete. Lino Shepard closed in from the zone and forced the incompletion. If complete, that would have made for a bit shorter third down play, but the defense had other ideas. The anticipation of the throw was key here. It made all the pieces fall into place. Third down coming up. It's intercepted. Tackled at the 38. Lewis does a nice job picking off the pass there. He's got it, and he gets a little more with that nice little run back. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Eagles are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 38-yard line. Westbrook has his number four on first down, and the Raiders take their first time up. Second down, Second seven yards to go. Donovan McNabb does a little last-minute razzle-dazzle here. 
and he gets some yards. Peter, that conversion sealed the deal. This game is over. Oh, you got that right. Now they can sit on the ball, catch up on some fan mail, and maybe wait for the clock to run out. First down, the clock is stopped at 1.13. Blue, 57, push it up. Gray, 37, push it up. Gray, 37. That's why I did that. Why did they get 100 yards rushing? What a performance. That should be the game. You don't see this out of just any old quarterback. 100 yard games are usually reserved for your starting running back. No sign of hurry from the offense. They're going to take it slow here again. They're concerned with one thing right now, and that's the clock. That's the game's three yards, and the clock will continue to run. It'll be first and goal. If we see the pass here, Dan, I have no doubt it's heading for his goal to the end. Westbrook takes his 13th carry of the game and gets the touchdown. This is a nice run here. And when you watch the replay, Dan, check out his field vision. Great job of finding space. That touchdown will add to their lead late in the game. Well, time is the enemy right now, Dan. We'll see what happens. point after and it's good. The ref gets the signal and we're set. Akers rockets this one deep. Vargas downs this in the end zone for a touchback. This drive deep in their own territory with the clock at 22. Jolly didn't hold that one in and it falls incomplete. Rich Gannon is really struggling out there today. As you can see by the numbers, it's all bad. Up to now, he's got 77 yards and one interception. Second down, the clock is stopped at 20. Gannon throws a bullet and it's complete at the 24. Finally gets out of bounds at the 36. Neutral zone infraction, number 90, defense. The penalty is declined. First down, one man back. No good, incomplete. Second down, the clock is stopped at 11. And that's going to wrap it up. They're going to run out, and, and that is going that's to the game. For this one, the Eagles come out so, on until our next video, um, my partner, Peter I believe it will be Madden 09 will be our next until one. Until next time. So until then, hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, anything you want me to add or do or anything like that, let me know. Um, thank you, and good night.